Hello, everyone, and welcome to Courtside with Tony Engel, alongside the head coach of the Dalton State Roadrunners. I'm Craig Corbin. Welcome back from Kansas City. Hey, glad to be back. It's that time of year, March Madness. That means tournament time. Coach, I see your, your hands are a little heavy today. Why, well, why is that? Well, it's a little hot underneath <laughs> these lights. That's, these are uh, national championship rings, Craig. And every year I watch the national, you know, everybody gets excited over March Madness, NCAA right. tournament and everything. So I put one national championship trophy on this side of the TV. Okay. One national championship trophy on this side of the TV. To balance it out. Yeah. Well, what balances out is those Doritos. In the middle. The little Doritos and a little root beer. <clears throat> and I watch the games. And I just think of all those memories and moments of uh, playing with those great players and winning national championships. And it is a little hot in here. And by, by the way, the reason I have these is so when I get this show, I'm going to send it to some of uh, our recruits. Excellent. And that's always a big part of telling the story of Dalton State basketball, of your legacy and tradition in building champions on the court and off. And, you know, we go back, you know, high school, uh, junior college, uh, NCAA, NAIA championships, and uh, it's something that really uh, is special when we talk about this time of year. And, of course, this season, uh, another trip to Kansas City for the 81st annual NAIA uh, tournament and a uh, great effort by the Roadrunners. Uh, some tough competition, as you knew it would be, and uh, had the opportunity, the first game, bright and early on day number two of the tournament, First uh, game of the day, and uh, they got out of the blocks well. Well, we played Cumberland, Kentucky, very good basketball team, and we battled tooth and nail all the way through. Yep. And and uh, we, <clears throat> matter of fact, we hit some big foul shots in the tournament. And 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 Benny Benyat was at the line, and he makes the two foul shots to put us up 62 to 60 with four seconds to play. Right. They drive the length of the floor, get a shot at it. <clears throat> And we win. So by a single basket uh, there, two points, the victory in the first round, and then on to uh, a second round, a Sweet 16 matchup with one of the one seeds, William Penn out of Iowa. And uh, that was a ball game that was really tough. Well, it was really tough. They, they had everything. They had everything to make it to, to win a national championship. And they was, you know, like out there last year in the, in, in the uh, uh, Final Four. So bottom line, they had in eight categories in NAI, they were number one in eight categories, and then uh, and then there's two and three and, and a couple more. I've never seen anything like that. They're averaging 102 points a game. So we go into the game. We had our strategy, and uh, it quite didn't work. But we pushed them to overtime. Yep. And one basket, one way or the other. Good stop here. A basket here. And I think we would have pulled off a, a minor miracle beating that team. I, I felt like they were one of the best teams out there. You talk about the ability to hit some, some crucial foul shots. Also in that uh, round of 16, foul shots were huge in finishing <laughs> that ball game. Yeah, we're down, we're down to what Craig's talking about. We're down to 1.2 seconds to play. we got to go the length of the floor. We throw it the length of the floor. Our freshman, Aaron Barris, goes up, gets the ball, and it was a correct call. They... They fouled him catching it going down. If, you know, if he had caught it going up, he would have shot three. Right. But So he goes in line, 1.2 seconds, place is packed. William Penn's fans, are, are they're just like an iron 45 minutes from uh, where we play. Right. They had all the crowd and everything, everybody screaming, and Aaron steps up there and knocks the first one down, and then he knocks the second one down, and we tie the game and go in overtime. And man, man, he, I was so proud of him. And, and then we go in overtime, we do the very best we can do, yep. and end up 68 64. Right. And they didn't get their averages or their right. 102 points. <laughs> you know, we talk about uh, you know, the one thing that uh, has uh, been a constant this season with the Roadrunners is playing without a full complement. Uh, injuries, as we have documented here on courtside all season long, uh, really played a huge role all year long, but I think when you get to tournament time, that really uh, can yeah. be a huge difference, not being able to go as deep down the bench. Well, that's true, Craig. And, but, you know, um, you, want, you want the best players on the floor, majority minutes anyway. You do the very best you can do. Yep. What was tough in that particular game was Cody Simmons, our leading rebounder, second-team All-American, mm -hmm. 
Uh, he didn't play but 19 minutes yep. out of a possible 45. Right. So if he plays more minutes, we've been better off. And then and we just we just didn't have a, a good shooting night. Yep. And the guys played hard. And I love this team. The resiliency, the fight, the coming over adversities the whole year. I mean, these guys, I, I love them. And, and, and they'll always hold a special place in my heart to come out and end up winning. The core group of this group, Mondarius Black, Isaiah Box, Reed Dungan, Cody Simmons, Paul Jasnock, Benny, those guys, they won 54 games in two years. But they've won more hearts and love and respect because of where they serve the community Without and each question. other. Without question. And we will take a closer look at the two ball games that the Roadrunners took part in in Kansas City coming up straight ahead on courtside. Stay with us back in just a moment. Hi, it's Eddie and Greg here at the all-new North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. Get 0% plus $500 on new 2018 RAV4s and new 2018 CHRs. Get 2.9% plus $500 on new 2018 Highlanders. Get $1,000 straight in loyalty cash on Tacoma and Tundra. Other dealers are going to say, we can't do that. What do we say? We say, oh yes, we can. Only at the all-new North Georgia Toyota here in Dalton. Come see us. back home waiting on it. And guys, this game is bigger than us. This game is bigger than us, bigger than any individual who's ever played it. Think about this great game. You get to train and condition and push yourself, see, and go through. We all come from different environments and different backgrounds. And then we bring it together. We bring it together. For one purpose and for one cause. And that's called we love the game. And then all of a sudden the music starts. The band plays. The popcorn pops. The fan comes in. You know what's beautiful? The music all orchestrating together. Whatever your strengths are, that's what we want. Whatever you do, that's what we want. We'll come together, play together, and enjoy this moment. Because guys that love conquers all. And you know, you know, love conquers all. So, how you guys doing? My job starts in Portland in a month. Mm. Can we find a buyer that fast? I think we're good. Our CBX app tells us who the best potential buyers are. We can pinpoint where the hottest prospects are located, right on this map. Mm. Two cities over. It even lets us set the most accurate price. Wow, it really does all that. It really does all that. <laughs> well, help us pack? <laughs> we're working on that. 
To the highlights we go. The 81st annual NAI National Tournament first round matchup against Cumberland's. Nice shot there to get things going. Yeah, Cody Simmons. There's another one by Cody. I'll tell you what, just uh, money here in the early going, and what a uh, treasure to be there in Kansas City in that environment. Now, bright and early, 9 o'clock game on day two of the tournament. Yeah, and, and the guys came out ready to play. You know, sometimes we practice early, so there's up, ready to go. Right. And again, Cumberland's Kentucky, the opponent here in this first-round matchup, uh, the three-point Ball has been big all year for the Roadrunners in this game, no exception. Right, and we really shot the ball well in this game, 50% uh, from the threes. Now you look at, at that, and also you talk about free throw shooting throughout the tournament. Uh, that was a big part of the uh, success, and on the boards as well. Yeah, that was Aaron Burris, and this is uh, Raheem England with a little dipsy do, a little two and one. Nicely and he done. went to the foul line. He's been really working on his foul shots, yep, Craig. You can tell. And you can tell, again, the final seconds of the opening half. And the man who has sort of perfected that, the, the off-balance circus shot this season. And here's another example. Nice job here in the second half. Yeah, it, Reed, Reed really had an outstanding season. Uh, came up with some big plays after big plays. And that little guy right there, I don't get up near his credit. Ben, yep. Benyot Hivya. Hey, played a lot of minutes in Kansas City. A circus <laughs> shot there as well. Uh, back to Reed here, Coach. We didn't mention it, but... Uh, huge uh, accolades to him for being included in the three-point shooting contest there in Kansas City. Well, he was selected one of the top four in the nation. Here, here's Cody again. Cody just had a you know outstanding game in this game, and this is Raheem attacking the basket with his size and huge. length. Another thing in regards to Reed, Reed was a third-team All-American this past season. And congratulations to him, the All-American honors, and also Cody. You'd mentioned second-team All-America and. Taking a nice uh, charge there. Yeah, and Cody right there again. Cody's the first back-to-back -back All American in Dalton State College history. Congratulations for that. Again, final six minutes Ooh, and change. There it is. <laughs> Nicely done <laughs> from long range, and good job on the boards and the put back in the paint. Yeah, Cody Simmons again here, Benny off a of pick and roll. Look at that nice pass. Beautiful. Pass. Move. That's a play we call Pearl. Nicely done. That had a little luster, Coach. A little luster. Yeah. 3-0-3 <laughs> to go here. First round matchup against Cumberland's. And the game's on the line here now. Absolutely. Look at that shot. Oh, man. 40 seconds to play. Game's on the line. Big, big foul shots there. Final six seconds. And the foul. And this would prove to be the difference in the game right there yes. from the foul line. Yeah, the score was tied, and he made both of them. And now this guy makes this, it ties, and he misses. Yeah, got it. 62 to 60, first round win for the Roadrunners. The 62 to 60 win in the first round, always great to get that first round. And in fact, if memory serves, Roadrunners unbeaten in opening round play in the NAIA National that's, Tournament. That's knock on wood. Yeah. That's exactly right. And yeah. We plan on going back. Indeed. And uh, in that ballgame, another double-double for Cody. 19 points, 10 rebounds. That has been the norm for him all season long. Yeah, he's just consistent. That's one of the keys to greatness is consistency. The other one is, is keep the kid in you and just have a lot of fun playing the game. And he loves the game, and you can count on him. Without question, Isaiah with 11 points in that one and 4 of 8 from the floor. And Raheem England, 9 points, 4 of 7 from the floor. So uh, a great win in the opening round. On to the uh, second round matchup, the Sweet 16 against William Penn. We'll have highlights of that straight ahead.
Hi, it's Eddie and Greg here at the all-new North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. Get 0% plus $500 on new 2018 RAV4s and new 2018 CHRs. Get 2.9% plus $500 on new 2018 Highlanders. Get $1,000 straight in loyalty cash on Tacoma and Tundra. Other dealers are going to say, we can't do that. What do we say? We say, oh yes we can. Only at the all-new North Georgia Toyota here in Dalton. Come see us. To the round of 16, and William Penn awaits a top seed. You knew, Coach, that, uh, boy, this would be one of the, the toughest teams in the tournament. Yes, and look at that fight and that grit right there by the little road runners. I, 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 God, I couldn't say enough about them. This is Mondarius, nice little jumper. Whoo! Big, big bucket there. Uh, you look at this ball game, and it stayed tight. The largest lead... Um, by the Roadrunners came in the second half by five. William Penn's largest lead was only seven, and that came uh, at the 13-36 mark in the first half. So that just shows you how tight the game was from start to, to finish. finish. Absolutely. And, and there's some good highlights right here. And, and uh, there's Mondaris, a good inside-out action from Aaron Burris, nice pass. And a little Ty Penley from Dalton, Georgia. Look at with that. A little Limber leg jumper there. I love it. I love the finish on that too. Getting the shot away before the defender could uh, could come up. Look at that. Beautiful steal. Those are the kind of things that win shit. Look at that little. Nice floater from 15. <laughs> That's Isaiah Box. Here's Reed. Beautiful drive <sighs> on the right side. Two minutes to go, and I'll tell you, great effort. Last second three there, and that was a nice way to end the first half. Yeah, we these guys really battled the whole time. They really, really did. You know, you're coming in knowing what William Penn averaged, better than 100 points a ball game. Obviously, the approach to, to slow things down uh, as far as what they were doing offensively worked pretty well. Yeah, we had we had three things we wanted to do, Craig. We wanted to control tempo so we keep Cody in the game, which is our lead rebounder, and we needed to make some, you know our share of threes to to negate some of the rebounding that they had on us. And our guys, by, by all by all measures, did pretty well. Beautiful effort there on the putback, four oh five to go, down the stretch and just back and forth. Beautiful spin move and the. Nice. A great shot there, just inside the foul line from Benny. Now again, nice foul shots. Our guys just had so much composure. They competed real hard. 81% coach from the line in this one. And look at this. This is the play of the game and the foul with one point to actually point two. And uh, putting them in to send this game into overtime. That was a... <laughs> An interesting toss, but thankfully the Roadrunners got the, the ball. Uh, you, know, you get to overtime, and the final in that one, 68 to 64. An overtime thriller against uh, the top seed William Penn in your bracket, and four players in double figures led by Mondarius with 17 points and six rebounds. He was phenomenal, Craig. I was so proud to see that. He battled through some injuries and some other things all year long, but our entire team I, I felt like w was phenomenal. They, they couldn't have done much better. A basket here and a stop there was the difference in that game. Aaron had 12 points, six rebounds. Reed with 11 points, two of two at the line. And Cody Simmons, 10 points and seven rebounds. Stay with us. Back to wrap things up on this edition of Courtside with Tony Engel.
Hi, it's Eddie and Greg here at the all-new North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. Get 0% plus $500 on new 2018 RAV4s and new 2018 CHRs. Get 2.9% plus $500 on new 2018 Highlanders. Get $1,000 straight in loyalty cash on Tacoma and Tundra. Other dealers are going to say, we can't do that. What do we say? We say, oh yes we can. Only at the all-new North Georgia Toyota here in Dalton. Come see us. And what a season it has been here with the Roadrunners of Dalton State. Uh, always exciting and energizing to make the national tournament, to be in that environment. And uh, even though coming up just short in overtime against uh, William Penn, have to be so proud of what the guys did in Kansas City. Craig, absolutely. I, I could not be more proud. I, I don't know if I've ever been more proud of a basketball team in my life. Three players out for season, season ending injuries, ankles, sickness. A lot of people might not realize this, but the week before we go to Kansas City, we had three days of practice with four on four. We did not have a full roster to practice. We went three on three and four on four before we go to Kansas City. But I taught them it's not, you do not let what you don't have interfere with what you can do. And I tell you what, these guys went out there with heart, grit, and grime, and battled, and I've never been more proud of a team in my life. A, I've coached a long time. That's a prime example of the character yep. that those young men uh, exemplify, that's and right. that's a big part of uh, your legacy as well. And, and we talked about it before, building character, building what they do on the floor and off the floor. And that's a tradition that also uh, runs deep within the Ingle family. Of course, you are not the only coach in the Ingle clan and uh, have to throw out some props to young Israel Ingle, who has, uh, for the second year in a row, been named uh, statewide coach of the year. Last year, a 4A coach of the year. This year, the 5A coach of the I know, year. I know. That's pretty impressive. I know. Hey, I'm so proud. Thank you for bringing him up, by the way. I, I, I love him. He is a great coach. You know, he, he was a junior college coach in Georgia for seven years right. and, and took them to Hutch. He goes out there and has a program that hadn't won since Moby Dick was a mentor. And, I mean, he's won. And, and, and all of a sudden, you know, he just turned that whole program around. He went to state. He's won 20 win seasons. And last year, coach, like you said, coach of the year at the state. The next year, coach of the year in the whole state. There's nothing makes a parent more proud well, than knowing the kid is, is succeeding. And, and here's the thing. He gets it. Right. There's, the greatest work you'll ever do is in the walls of your own home. Right. He, 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 I think, worships properly. I think he treats his wife with so much love and respect. And he just works so hard with honesty and integrity. And what can you beat? I, I love the young. I'm so proud of him. And I think there's going to be a new addition to the family that uh, you and Jeannie are going to be able to uh, to visit very soon. Oh, we can't wait to see her either. You know, this will be his fourth daughter. That's awesome. And it'll be our 20th Christmas present. Congratulations. I mean, oh, <laughs> oh, don't say that on air. Christmas present, birthday present. It all works together. <laughs> Congratulations. I love it. Thank you. That, that Thank is so you. exciting. I and mean, when we talk about uh, the success that you've had, uh, obviously with, uh, with the family, what Israel's done, and, and right down the line with, with everyone else, but it's always exciting to, to reflect on the, the blessings that you have that, that allow the successes. Uh, and, and obviously with the Roadrunners, there are a lot of people who have played a part in the success of the well, program. Well, there's a lot of people who played a part, and I do not want to overlook Tony Jr. Yep. 
You know, he's been fantastic. You know, he's, he's every championship we've won, he's been right by my side. He knows he has nothing but knowledge and wisdom and love for the game. And then there's so many other people that's involved, sure. you know. Uh, you know, Margaret Venable, John Jadon, yep. you, Brandon, well, you know, I'll everybody. You what, it, it is, and we have to thank, obviously, uh, our friends at uh, WDNN, Calvin Means, uh, Judy Elliott with Elliott Media, who have made uh, so much of what we do yeah. here on Courtside possible. And then our fine sponsors could not do it without uh, our friends at Brown Industries. Uh, we, we sometimes, I think, don't mention those that, that need to be uh, recognized, but we greatly appreciate not only our friends there at Brown Industries, but also with Engineered Floors, Coldwell Banker, Kennard Realty, and our friends at North Georgia Toyota. Always nice to have the family back that supports Courtside with Tony Ingle. And that's the thing, is, is we always say, is two better than one? Only when they work as one. And go. all of us work as one yep. and bring Roadrunner basketball to our community and to our friends and family. Without question. Now, you mentioned Tony Jr., and I've, I've always enjoyed chatting with Tony, his, his knowledge about the game, and I also enjoy uh, getting his, uh, his impressions on what matchups might go in a certain way. He's very sharp in, in that regard. Also want to thank uh, assistant coach uh, Alex Ireland who seamlessly helped all season long in uh, facilitating uh, the video acquisition of the highlights. Uh, I know a lot of people take that for granted. It doesn't happen uh, magically. There's a lot of work behind the scenes that goes There's a lot that. of work and, and I'm glad you said Alex Ireland because he's like manna from heaven. I mean, that guy, to have him in our midst and to have him as my assistant coach, I mean, to, first of all, he's like a son. I mean, I love him, and, and uh, I'm so blessed to have him in our program, and, and he's a big part, if not the biggest part, of our success. Without question, and uh, the man behind the scenes, uh, Brandon Brown, Brown Productions. Uh, we have so enjoyed the relationship uh, with Brandon and what he brings to the table. Uh, he makes us look a lot better than we probably <laughs> should. Uh, and that, that is uh, something that uh, has been a, an absolute treat over the years, but uh, always at this time of the year. I think it's appropriate to, to throw out the accolades and the thanks to those folks. Coach Wooden said this. He said, it's nice to be recognized, but it's even better to recognize. Yep. And so we want to recognize, and, and, we, and our love and respect goes out to everyone. Without question. Of course, uh, this is also a good time to uh, wrap up things for this edition of Courtside, this season of Courtside. We wish you the very best as you wrap up with uh, this year's team and begin looking for new members of the Roadrunners in the time away. Coach Ingle, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, Craig. Indeed. Thank you. And we appreciate you. We'll see you next time right here on Courtside with Tony Ingle.